Okay, so this one is the is the hip roof. I've gone ahead and drawn my my roof plan up here. I projected down my eaves. I uh, did my uh, my six inch mark above the above the plate, top of the wall. Did my roof overhangs over here and center line on the ridge. And then I went ahead and marked out a four, six, eight, and twelve slope um, heights for all of these. I went ahead and marked those out. Now with uh, with the hip roof. It doesn't matter the slope of the roof. Looking down on it, the points are always the same. Okay, the intersection of the hips and the ridges, they're always the same. It doesn't matter what the slope is. So I can take from here and project down into my front view, and that will be the intersection of the hips and the ridge at each of these different roof elevations, okay? Um, and so what I, I can do is I can, you know, if I wanna see how it looks, I can go ahead and, and sketch out a couple of those. All right, and so that kind of gives me, start, you know, getting a little bit of an idea on how that's going to look. Um, and then, of course, you know, once again, you, whichever one you choose, you need to project back across with your fascia and stuff. Now, we saw before that the, the A12, we had some conflict with, uh, with our roof overhang. So let's, let's go ahead and see how that looks. Anyway, this kind of give you an idea how they look. So I did a four six, an eight, and a ten. And you can see that, you know, the ten is pretty tall. It's a little more than the full height of the story. The eight is about the about the same. Uh, but the assignment says do an eight twelve hip roof. So that's what you're gonna do with, all right? So I'll take the the ten out at the top there. Kind of clean things up just a little bit. over here. And then I want to measure down the six inches from that Okay. All right, and so there's the root, okay, uh, with, with my fascia and the overhangs. And so that's how that's how the roof is going to look. And and so now uh, go ahead and put in some some hatching for the for the roof and siding and the windows there to kind of make it look uh, 
may look pretty like the other ones. Uh, let's see, where's a good example? Here's a good example. Kind of like this one. Of course, this one's got a garage door on the front and some shutters on the windows and stuff. But this is just a quick, you know, really, this takes maybe 15, 20 minutes to do once you get used to heights and, and sizes and things. And so you can, you know, whip out a pretty quick sketch that's, you know, relatively accurate. It's proportional anyway. And have an idea of what, uh, what the building's going to look like with different material types on it. And you can take your basic... Uh, your basic frame here, which has got your, your doors, walls, windows, and roof on it, and then use tracing paper, which is what I did with, you know, with all of these, and just lay the tracing paper over it and trace out the outline and then put in all of your, uh, all of your shading details to come up with the different, different views and how, uh, how different houses are going to look. All right, sounds great. Hope this helps you out some and uh, bring these back to, to class with you next week.